I just thought I'd show everybody an example of the Mercedes uh, Steering Tronic, I think they call it, uh, or Steering Assist with the Distronic pack. Um, so I've got no feet on the pedals, it's braking for me, it's accelerating for me. You can see I've got the speed set to a maximum of 30 miles an hour at the minute. So we're in a traffic jam, which is lovely. It's lovely British summer weather, by the way. And, I mean, this is not the best example at the moment because it's a bit of a straight bit of road, but it will basically follow the car in front. I mean, you can see the green steering wheel there. That indicates that it's following both the car in front and keeping track of the lines on the road if there are any. And if they don't, there aren't any on the right side of this road at the minute, as you can see. But there is the centre lines, which it's also following too. So I'm just trying to. We've got a bit of a curve coming up. I don't know if you can make out the wheel sort of moving on its own. quite a strange feeling I've got to admit to sort of relinquish control to the car but in traffic jams and things like this and you can see the wheel just moving a bit now in traffic jams this is actually quite it's quite a help you know I've got to be honest it's quite nice not having to um, you know steer or, or anything like that um, but I still think it's a bit of a strange system to have where it's sort of half and half I think the Tesla one is probably a better, uh, you know, implication of this, or sorry, application of this, because the Mercedes will, it's going to tell me in a minute, there you are, the way, because it's gone over 20 miles an hour, it's going to beep at me in a moment, there you are, so if I don't, if I don't take a back control of the wheel, it just turns off the steering element of the auto sort of cruise control everything else it leaves on so it will just let you go at whatever speed you've set but then stop controlling the steering wheel which I think is a bit dangerous in all honesty um, but yes so anyway we're coming back to a slow part now so I'll just keep this video rolling for a bit longer so it's braking now that's not me but it does leave uh, it to the last minute sometimes it does it's a bit scary so I've got my foot hovering over the brake pedal so now that we're under 20 miles an hour again the wheel will turn on its own and I can let go and it won't beep at me so hopefully if anyone was uh, wondering what the hell this thing was when I sort of ticked well when it came with it with the auto autonomous cruise which is what I wanted uh, so I was a bit strange you know I didn't really know what it was so hopefully this is a, a decent video for everyone who wants to know what this does thanks for watching guys